Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell, as always. And on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions for you guys, and we're coming back to Rammstein and their song, Ramvir, or Ram4, live, where is it live at? Hellfest 2016. Uh, this is a request from, let's take a quick gander. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Let's go to comments. This is from Reina M. Um, quick little note about the name Reina. Uh, that is uh, my son's name. I spell it a little differently. Uh, his is spelled R-A-Y-N-E-R. -E and the poster name Reina is R-A-N-E-R. -E so nice little tidbit there. Um, I chose that name to have remembrance for my grandmother. She was the person who uh, taught me German. She spoke to me in German, helped me learn German, and uh, I will always remember her. Some of my favorite movies as a kid uh, had German tones to it. Uh, specifically, um, part of the reason why I'm so into horror, uh, hence the channel, um, is a movie by the name of The Monster Squad. It came out in 1987. And uh, it's uh, very German-centric. The incantation during that whole movie uh, is in very, very broken, almost gibberish German. But, you know, when you're a kid, you don't know the difference. Um, but, yeah, it stuck with me. It's one of my, it's my favorite all-time movie, bar none. Uh, if you guys don't know it, you should check it out. I might be doing a reaction to a, the trailer of that movie. I've never seen it, so I'm kind of excited. I know everything that there is to know about that movie. But that's neither here nor there. We're here for Rammstein, right? <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, Rammstein. Ramvir. Live Hellfest. Let's jump right in. Link will be in the description box for your viewing pleasure. The link to the original video. Gotta fall the way for this one. I love this effect. Very ominous. I forgot to mention, I do know this song very well. I have not seen this particular video, though. I think the one that I saw was Pink Pop. Herr Schneider. Mm, I love this riff. The entrance absolutely fucking amazing. Wunderbar. I just noticed he had a little red one. I think that's he only uses like one or uh, volume knob. So the other one is saying is dead. Or do not use. Mm. Oli!
<laughs> oh, I love it. Tongue in cheek. Laka doing his uh, best Devo impression. There he is. <laughs> his best Devo impression. I absolutely love it. If you guys don't know Devo, check him out. They're from the 80s, I do believe. I just can't help myself sometimes. I just want to scream out the lyrics like that. Ooh, it just, ooh, it hits you. Mm. Yeah, you go, Paul. There's some nice Schneider pictures. Close ups, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that is so till. Can Till make it uh, without, or make it through a song without using the microphone in some kind of phallic way? <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. Very dissonant, very evil sounding. Not for sure, that would be perfect time to have their hands in the air. <laughs> Till is such a madman. And it looks like he's having a lot of fun. I know I am. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. But uh uh yeah, let's just jump right into the review section, huh? 
All right, that was Rammstein with their song Ramvir, live 2010 at Hellfest. Excuse me, was it 20, 2016? Excuse me. Uh, this request was brought to us by Raina M. Yeah. Uh, right away, I'm going to give it four, or excuse me, five skulls out of five. Um, everything about the song, it was obviously the intro to the, um, uh, what are they called? The festivals, there you go. The festival at Hellfest. I like the countdown, the anticipation builds, the uh, pyro, and the uh, those kinds of effects. Amazing uh, how they were lowered down on the those light fixtures. Absolutely amazing. The um, the keyboards very dissonant, very um, they they fit the opening very well with what they fit through the whole song, but specifically in the opening, and then they have the um, <clears throat> the synced um, detonations of the the pyro, the sparklers or whatever you want to call them. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, to go with the drums, absolutely amazing. Loved it. Lyrics typical. Till lyrics, tongue in cheek. Uh, my favorite part of the lyrics is the Buk Dish America, Bend Over America. Um, he was naming basically all of their most popular songs. And then um, when Machine meets um, is it Flesh and Machines? I don't remember the lyrics. Um, uh, let's take a quick gander at the lyrics. Right, I was a little bit wrong. It, it translates, um, where are we at? Resurrected from ruins, joy from men and machines. Auferstanden aus Ruinen, Glück für Menschen und Maschinen. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I got these lyrics from Af uh, connected I'm probably <laughs> butchering that. Um, uh, it's a nice place for... Um, for English lyrics as well as the German lyrics. Um, if there's anything like before, I want to say like uh, Liebe ist für alle da album, I tend to use uh, Uh They, uh, what's Jeremy, I think is his name. Um, he does the, or did the translations to a lot of their songs. Uh, he does it in a little bit more poetic way um, than just strictly what it would translate into. So I kind of use uh, for the older songs. <clears throat> but yeah, every everything about the song. Um, I think my favorite part of the song is the breakdown when they do the na, 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 na's. Um, especially with the guitars. It's so dissonant and evil sounding. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't do the hand claps and the, the slower parts of that. But it's okay. Um, it's your typical Rammstein song. Definitely, uh, Sets the tone for the rest of the concert, I think. Uh, <clears throat> with their new uh, tour that they're doing with the um, stadiums, I think the they open up with uh, Vasi Schliebe. And it, it... I mean, for me, this is my own personal opinion. I don't think it works very well. Uh, my wife tends to disagree with me. She says it's kind of like the calm before the storm. And I'm like, I'd rather have it like Punch you in the face right here, you know. Pay attention, kind of thing. So, I, I guess it just it depends on your personality. Mine is a little bit more in your face, and I want that adrenaline kick and that adrenaline rush, especially from when you see Rammstein live. There is no greater high than seeing Rammstein live. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. And as always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell. As always, I greatly appreciate it, you ghouls and ghosts. And as always, stay scared. Ah, wow.